arrived in my city of light via hovercraft and train. And you know, for years, everyone had told me how unfriendly, even how hostile the Parisians are. Cranky, a bit arrogant, aggressive. So I didn't expect to make friends very easily. But in the waiting room, I saw the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. She looked just like Isabella Rossellini, only prettier. And she was reading Jane Austen. I, on the other hand, was reading my very first copy of Cosmopolitan magazine. <laughs> so I sat down next to her and I said, God, that's my favourite book. I adore Jane Austen. Whereupon she replied, Yes, but you know, I have to tell you, what you are reading is really shit. <laughs> but you know, I have seen you before, three days ago, you were crying in front of the beauty of the painting by Seurat in the National Gallery in Londres. C'était toi? By the end of the journey, this lovely girl, God, so gorgeous, had already included me in her family. Don't be frightened about Paris, Jane. My mother will look after you. And she did. So, finally ensconced in Paris, the search began for Jean-Pierre Rampal, the world's greatest flute player. From a booklet containing the phone numbers of professional musicians, the only flautist to answer my call was an elegant, fastidious Frenchman from Versailles. He was like a skinny little mouse, and he was really nice. He accepted me as his student. But after a while, it became apparent that his style of playing was small, tight, strained, and slightly mean. It was the exact opposite of everything that I loved in life and music, and I felt really lost. Then, I was walking down the Boulevard Saint-Michel one cold, sunny afternoon, and I stopped a young man and I asked him the time. Excusez-moi, monsieur, est-ce que vous avez l'heure? Darling, what are you speaking in bleeding French for? Don't you know I'm English? And why on earth are you carrying a flute? <laughs> oh, I'm an Aussie. I'm trying to study with Jean-Pierre Ampal and I can't even find him. No, no, Poppet. You should try Alain Marion. He works with Rampal all the time. He's the greatest flute teacher in the world. Everybody's coming to study with him. That's why I'm here. I play the flute too. Tell you what, Poppet, where are you staying? Oh, I'm staying in the Collège Franco-Britannique. It's a bloody hole. Oh, darling, don't I know it. That's where I live too. Listen, meet me out the front tomorrow at noon and I'll take you to the Paris Conservatoire and introduce you. You're a pretty tart. They'll love you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
shelter in a cave of storm clouds might be night, and maybe all the planets scattered in the bay are rotting there like fruit fallen on grass. And anyway, a fevered child is laughing in the dark, <laughs> says she knows death that stalks us ceaselessly, that roams in packs through woods of consciousness, to whom all seasons are as winter was when wolves ran in the outskirts of Paris. Thank <laughs> you.